The National League, for now, has a DH. And for years, when the National League had to play the designated hitter game, Interleague or World Series, it was thought that the National League clubs were at a disadvantage, given they had not put together their roster with the DH in mind. So are National League clubs at a disadvantage this year? Let's do a little digging in. Through the years, the World Series play and World Series play, some National League clubs had extra hitters. The 95 and 96 Braves, for example, had Ryan Klesko as an extra bat, and he was a very capable DH. The 2011 Cardinals had Lance Berkman and plenty of good hitters, so they were just fine. But that is not usually the situation National League versus American League through the years. Now, this year, some NL clubs are uniquely or luckily equipped for the DH on short notice. The Mets didn't know if Yuena Cespedes would be healthy this year, but he finally looks ready, and he looks ready to hit at least, while still having questions about running. Cespedes has played sporadically for the Mets, but he's also slugged a robust 543 in a Mets uniform. He could be a big boost in a DH spot. The Cubs have long had a DH ready to go and now have the league catching up to them. Kyle Schwarber has improved defensively through the years out in left field, but it's been a struggle. And last year, Schwarber had a 120 weighted runs created plus, 100 is league average, and that above average bat can now be used without the defensive struggle. The Reds catch a big break this year. They signed Nick Castellanos in the offseason. Castellanos was negative nine in defensive runs saved last year, but the defensive hit is worth it. He slugged 525 last season. The Reds have good outfield hitting already, so Castellanos can slide right into that DH spot or mix and match with no fall off for the Reds. The Rockies have an American League player. They signed Daniel Murphy, moved him from second base immediately to first base. He had a down year last season, but if a bounce back happens, they are in much better shape with Daniel Murphy going right to DH. The Brewers have been mixing and matching with a surplus of talent. Lorenzo Cain, Christian Yelich, and then Ben Gamel and Avasail Garcia in right. So that's their outfield, and that leaves Ryan Braun to float right to DH and not to first base, where they have other options like the just signed Justin Smoke. And then there's Los Angeles. They have a surplus of players bouncing around looking for at-bats. So here are the DH options for the mighty Dodgers. Justin Turner, Max Muncy, Jock Peterson, even young players like Matt Beatty. Those players combined have a weighted runs created plus of 127 last year. So less platooning and more offense. The Dodgers are the outlier, of course, with an extremely deep roster. But there are a bunch of National League teams ready to play American League ball. So to try to answer the question, will National League teams be at a disadvantage? Uh, yes, it appears they will be. American League DHs had a 120 weighted runs created plus last year. Now, the Twins really boost that number. Nelson Cruz had a huge year. But our own researchers did the rough projection of their own for the National League DHs as it stands now, using the information that we have. And we figured the weighted runs created plus for National League DHs would be 114. Now, that's a pretty good number, but it is clearly below the level of American League production at the position. It's a projection but it is interesting to note. 